I don't want to let my tea get cold. I always let my tea get cold. I think like when I started my channel, it was kind of like a source of comfort for me. I think I've shared before, but like I was quite lonely at the time because we just moved up here and Kenny was away a lot. So I found it comforting to have just someone or somewhere to share my thoughts and document the good things. But I guess also I always intended to document the less good things and just mostly normal life in between. I guess I just wanted it to be like a source of comfort for other people too, just to, I don't know, see another 20 something like navigating through life. I never intended to be a fitness YouTuber or a food YouTuber or a fashion YouTuber or literally anything. Never intended to be anything. I kind of just wanted to be like a normal human being on the internet, just navigating life and sharing some of it. I guess what you don't realize when you start out is that when the day comes when it's not just like you and your mum and maybe a couple of friends watching it, it becomes like a lot harder to just post whatever you want. I don't know, somehow the internet has this funny way of telling you that like you can only possibly be one thing. You like have to be this one dimensional human. The internet tells you and your comments tell you that like if you want to be vegan and you want to be healthy and you want to be productive then I don't I don't know. I don't know. It's just how I've been feeling. I just wanted to share my thoughts on some stuff and I guess some stuff that hey baby. Hi. Yeah and some stuff I want to change and I guess I just want to think less. Think less altogether hey i guess what i'm saying is i just want to do more living life the way it comes and sharing more of that rather than just sharing the good days or yeah anyway that's the weird way to start this video um we're actually just gonna have a super nice day today a super chill day um, it's just Rue and I, Kenny is still away, we just got back from holiday. So yeah, if you want to come along for this ride, then let's do it. Welcome to June in the north of England, everybody. Well, starting off in true This Is Real Life fashion, we have absolutely zero food in the house to have for breakfast. Like, look in this fridge. That is interesting. Oh, also that fridge is filthy, I need, it needs to clean. We literally have kombucha, sauces, half a thing of soup, which I had yesterday, and then Rue's food. I obviously need to do a food shop today, but I really need to problem solve this whole breakfast thing pretty quick, because I am a girl that needs her breakfast. What shall we do? Um, I don't even have any cereal. What shall we do? Should we go out for breakfast? Is that reasonable when I've just eaten out for three weeks in a row and today was meant to be getting my life sorted? Yeah, why not? It's okay. She hates her harness, guys. I bought her so many different harnesses. This one is so soft and comfortable, but she still hates it. Can you show everyone your new harness? Are you a big girl in a pink harness? First stop is Rue's walk. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my God. I think someone had some energy to burn off. Whoa! Also, the sun has come out for us. 
which is more like it, Manchester in June. And Rue's having time of her life. I am so hungry, but I could tell if I didn't walk Rue first, she would not chill. Like she's got too much energy, she would not let me eat breakfast in peace. Dog walk done. And now it is time to go and find some food. I am so ready for it. or lunch or whatever you'd call it this time of day was delicious and now it's time to do a food shop i am back at my favorite spot to do a food shop rain held off on us breakfast was super good i went to another heart to feed which there's one in central manchester and there's one in didsbury which i did not know which was near the walk this morning did a big food shop just got home struggled upstairs i'm going to put all the food away i am going to make myself a cup of tea sit down have half an hour just to chill and then i need to pop to the trafford center which i'm definitely going to regret on a bank holiday friday um but i've got some stuff to pick up and some returns to do so that's the plan. We're getting stuff done today, guys. Even if that is just taking myself for brunch. It's a good day. So I figured now is probably a good time mm -mm. to pop out and um, get my returns done and pick up my orders and stuff like that. So I'm going to quickly show you what I'm returning actually. Just two things. Both of them are from Zara. This is the first one. But I tried it on on holiday and like the fit is just, it's not working for me. The top bit, like this top bit here, it's not long enough. So like the puffy out bit starts just underneath my boobs and I just feel like... On my body, it just, it wasn't it. It wasn't flattering. And then the other thing I got, which I'm really surprised I didn't love, because this is like a bit of me, is this blazer dress from Zara. It's like this um, silky kind of, I don't know what that is, but this kind of satiny look material. Again, it was the fit. It just didn't, just something about it wasn't right. I think maybe it was like too boxy, but not structured enough, if you know what I mean. And then I want to come home and do nothing, but I can't do that because I've got to sort the house out. I think I'm gonna make this pad thai that I make. Yummy. And then maybe download Top Gun and watch that in preparation to watch the second Top Gun. We've made it. Definitely wearing the wrong outfit for the weather. <laughs> Tripped and fallen into H&M home and I love this print, but I don't like the way it's like made out of tin. I wish it was a regular mug. I regret everything. The Trafford Centre is so busy. No prizes for guessing why we're here. Hello. Wait, pause. Um, so that was absolutely awful. And to be honest, quite unsuccessful. You would not believe how hard it is to find a matching Oh, one sec, I'm gonna run someone over. A matching dog bowls. 
I've honestly been looking for matching dog bowls for months because my mum accidentally smashed Rue's old one. So at the moment, it just looks scruffy because she's got two different ones and it annoys me when I see it every day. Um, and number two, a butter dish. I thought a butter dish was like, you know, a pretty standard classic household item. Never have any, I always look in home sense and like H&M home, nothing. Anyway, now because my life is run by my dog, I am going to pets at home because Rue needs new food, new treats, and probably a load of other unnecessary stuff while I'm there. So that's where we're going now. I don't know where I'm going. Panic, panic, panic. They actually have some reasonably nice dog bowls in here today, but these are just like, for Rue, these are just absolutely huge. So really, I like that one as well. So really, it's this one or nothing. So I might just get two of these, they're not too bad. Rue, honestly, don't get a dog because your entire life becomes about that dog. She, this is for Rue as well. It's ridiculous. Let's go home. Hi, hi, hi. Did you miss me? Are you good? Did you miss me? It's so warm in here. We need to open some windows, don't we? Yes. It's you have. Wow. Oh, you're a good girl, Rue. Good girl. Well, I need to wash my hands. This hand wash smells so good. The sea salt one by the White Company. I need some water. Right, well, this is basically an entire bag full of like Lily's kitchen, different stuff. In case you're a dog owner, when you are vaguely interested, I will run you through it, but I'll be about two seconds. Everything, everything is Lily's kitchen because I think they've got the most natural ingredients from my understanding. This is for dental care and gut health. It's not just our gut health that matters. I get these tins of food to go with her dry food, training treats, and then I get her like slightly bigger treats for when she does something like extra good. I got two of these little bowls because I finally found two that match and I'm not missing that opportunity. I think they're four pounds as well, so can't go wrong. And that is Rue's haul. And then, Rui, do you want one of these? Cassie? Yeah! Wow, what's that? Is that nice, boo? Um, and then from Selfridges, I've rediscovered my blue light glasses and I've got a really bad headaches, so ignore what I look like. I, honestly, this was like the most boring shop of all time. I got a super fast charger, because we left ours in a hotel somewhere. And in the Selfridges box, which you might think is exciting, is actually get more stuff for Brew. I think I really need to have kids or something, guys, because um, the amount of attention this dog gets. I just got her from this brand called Maxbone, a new extendable lead. Oh, look how pretty this is. It's quite big, though. Actually, I guess it's not bigger than hers. I would say for a dog lead, that's quite cute. It's got a nice grey bit here. I've actually been looking for like a nice extendable lead for so long. So that's that, I mean, why look at what I'm looking at? Um, I think this is gonna need to be dealt with. Should we get, get some of this stuff put away, Rue? two weeks on my own and yeah I feel like I want to use this time to get better at cooking in some way but that time is not starting today I can tell you that much because I'm making a classic so I'm going to use some of this brown rice pasta I've got all my green veg broccoli courgette and some spinach here and then I'm finally reunited with the best pesto in the whole world and I've got some black chickpeas. They wouldn't be my first choice. My first choice would be normal chickpeas with this, but I don't have any. I just went to go find Rue because I thought she's doing something naughty and she's playing with her toy, which makes me want to cry. So what I'm going to do is, 
If you've ever seen any of my videos where I show you what I have for lunch, you've probably seen when I make like pesto chickpeas and put spinach in, um, in a pan, I'm gonna basically make that with like more pesto and the other veg and then add the pasta into it, mix it around, probably put some cheese on and I reckon that'll be dinner. So, should we do it? <laughs> dinner and I think while I eat it I'm gonna start the night manager my parents have been telling me to watch this for well probably since it came out in 2016 it's a good time to get into a new season when I've got two weeks on my own so that's what I'm gonna do hi boo I'm gonna watch some TV with mama had a lovely evening stroll with Rue who sat down here but it's a bank holiday Friday today so Manchester is just like super buzzy and there's like live music everywhere and everyone sat outside because it's sunny and it's just a really good vibe out there um so I'm glad we went hey we glad we went so I am about to sit down on the sofa got my huge box of Hue chocolates which I can choose from my all-time favorite is the hazelnut butter one, I think. I also really like the cashew butter one. I Also, the plain chocolate's good. It's all just, like, ridiculously good. We have got to be up in the morning because we've got a house viewing. Yay! No, I'm trying to be positive. If you guys have been following this house viewing journey on here, um, you will know, or you might know, we've been looking to buy a house for... It feels like forever it's probably not that long it's probably like eight months or something but we've had a fair amount of heartbreak with it like we've had offers in on houses that have fallen through and we've pulled out of two last minute because of like really weird circumstances when we eventually get a house i will tell you about all of these things because some of the stories like you honestly would not believe anyway i am going to sign off now um i hope you enjoyed just spending your regular day in my life. These are my favorite, favorite, favorite videos to film. Oh, on Wednesday, this is a promise this time, on Wednesday, I'm uploading the Italy vlog. It's sorted, it's ready to go. Um, I just wanna upload it on a usual slot. So Wednesday will be my Italy vlog and then next Sunday will be like a sorting our lives out together kind of vlog. Um, but yeah. I love you guys and thanks for sticking around and just being great on the whole. Um, lots of love and I will see you in the next one.